The Arab expansion saw chunks of Mediterranean territory conquered in record time. One city, however, was the envy of all. Constantinople was near and needed to be crushed. Years of fighting with the Persian Sassanids surely weakened the remnants of the Byzantine Empire, and it was the time to strike. The siege would last four years, intermittently, and victory looked certain for the Arabs. But the gods of war and fire had other plans. Utilizing a new invention, the Greeks would rain down liquid hell on the Arab navy, with utmost devastation. The siege would be halted, and after a treaty, the Byzantine Empire would be the victor. That was the first Arab siege on the impregnable Constantinople, but a second attempt was made in 717 to 718. The Greek weapon was also instrumental in that victory, and delayed the Muslim expansion into the Balkans for centuries. But what was this secret new weapon that was used? It would come to be known as Greek fire, and acted as a kind of napalm, setting aflame anything it would touch. It was fired from bronze tubes with siphon pumps and nozzles that could change direction. Handheld versions were also used, mimicking an archaic flamethrower. Over time, the Greeks would use it for land warfare as well, as defense of the city fortifications, or as makeshift hand grenades. It was a fearsome weapon, and was able to survive in and above the water. Nearly nothing could put it out. Kalinikos, a Christian Greek, having fled to Constantinople from Muslim-occupied lands, is credited for the invention. His ingredients remained a secret for centuries, and would never leak into foreign hands. We still don't know how Kalinikos created this substance. Historians speculate it can be a mixture of naphtha and quicklime. Potassium nitrate, or sulfur, might also have been used. The machinery was complex in and of itself, as enemies weren't able to turn the deadly fire on the Byzantines, even when they captured their drome and galleys intact. Greek fire was used for almost 700 years as a powerful weapon. Apart from the two Arab sieges, it was used to repel the revolt by Thomas the Slav in the early 820s, as well as during the Rus-Byzantine War in 941. In the late 900s, Emperor Basil II used Greek fire, along with around 6,000 Viking allies from Russia, to dismantle a rebellion by the Focus clan. We aren't certain why, but the use of Greek fire vanished after the early 1200s, the Fourth Crusade in particular. Perhaps the areas to find certain ingredients were lost, or cut off. Perhaps the closely kept secret, was kept just a bit too close to the chest. Since the fall of their Western Roman counterpart, the Byzantine Empire, centered on Constantinople, would go through numerous sieges. Without the use of Greek fire, they surely would have fallen, centuries earlier. Thanks for watching Made in History. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos.